find that gesture first, and then we'll come back and deal with her. Um, anyway, we've gone through this entire area, through all of Murgo's loft. Pretty much the only thing that's left to do is, um, is the boss here. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Let's head back to the... No. Let's head back to the Hunter's Dream. The keys? Okay. Alright, let's do one more thing, and then uh, we'll come back here and uh, do this boss. So, we know about the Burtonworth Scholars, who went to the Thumerian Tombs and got the blood. We know of uh, Mensis, uh, who actually, they sent their own people down into the Thumerian Tombs as well. well um, to try to find more links with the uh, Great Ones. Because as we said, um, let's go upgrade my World Geeks out of plus 10. So remember, only three Blood Rocks, unless you buy them. Fortify. Whirligig. Plus 10, yes. What I want. I guess I can fortify my blunderbuss. Blood gem, let's see, anything else? Look at that. It cursed. That's good. This thing is strunk. The capital strunk. There we go. Let's see what my weapons are now. Oh my god, so the world gig saw uh, went from like what 394 to 548. And now my Kirk hammer is uh five or 451. So now my this thing is going to be doing massive damage. Um, let's see. Frenzy might be good. I'm going to go ahead with... Let's see. Where are we about to go? Let's do Arcane. And then let's pop a 10. So now, uh, we went through all of Murgo's loft, base and middle, um, let's see, pretty much we've gone through everywhere in the game that we can go, uh, except for one place. back to Cathedral Ward. Um, remember we got the Upper Cathedral Ward key, the Upper Cathedral key that we never actually used, so let's go and, you know, use it. Let's go see what the Happy Haps is. Look at that! Ariana's gone. 
And there's a whole lot of blood. Let's let's follow this trail and see where it leads to. Um. So, Great Ones need a surrogate mother, basically. And, uh, they impregnated Yarnum before, as we saw. Uh, if I didn't kill the imposter Yosefka, she would have been pregnant as well. Ariana the only gets pregnant and actually gives birth to her. That. If you kill the baby, it kills her. Yeah. Um, anyway, she drops her shoes. Um, let's see, Ariana's shoes. A uh, woman of the night in the cathedral ward, innocent and cute in contrast with its owner. And then there's also the noble dress which she wears. So if you want to, you can do an Ariana cosplay. Hey girl. Sorry about that dead baby. Imagine her giving birth to that. Yeah, so that's why she became uh, sick later on. And it's because she was preggers. Anyway, so you kill the baby, get uh, the one third umbilical cords. Now we have two of them. So only there's one more left. Once again, if you didn't kill Imposter Yosef, you can go to her now and uh, get that last, that last boot, baby boot. Adela's gone mad. She's gone mad. Oh, what's this? I have to. I have my share of woes. Oh, she gives you a sedative. How nice. Boss. This guy is the only one that kind of remains. Uh, not insane. See this all somehow. All right. I'll wait for this. I'm gonna switch back into our normal attire. So I gotta climb back up this. Uh, Back up to the top of the healing, the healing work, the healing workshop, the healing church. Back to that door that was sealed to us before. Now that we have the key, give us the key. Oh yes, hush, grant us eyes. Um, never realized yet. Eyes are uh, linked with insight. Um, Master Willem and, uh, Lawrence, uh, had splitting ideals about this. Where Willem believed that, uh, humans could gain a higher power by intaking the blood of the Great Ones. Uh, Master Willem believed that if you line the uh, inside of your mind with brains, or with the inside of your brain with eyes, the upper cathedral ward, and that would that would that's what would bring you to a, a higher plane, a higher power. These are celestial children, celestial babies, um, very similar to the thing that was that Ariana just birthed out of her. Uh, they do frenzy damage if they hit you, so try have them not hit you. Simple as that. You can see his thing is covering eyes now.
the eyes and inside are directly linked. Uh, the more eyes you have, the more of the universe that you can see, more of the cosmos, and you can see how we're not alone in this universe. We're very much not alone, and the things that are here with us are much grander than, than we are as humans. And their power is almost unfathomable. So much so that people who did have insight, who did have eyes on the inside, uh, they saw these beasts, these amygdala, and other things just everywhere. And they knew about the great cosmic horrors that lie beyond, and they hated this. And so most of them, uh, Yeah, a frenzy, man. Most of them, um... Either took out their eyes or wrapped them in, uh, in cloth so they, they, they wouldn't... be privy to the, the horrors anymore. So they just got too much for them. Oh my god. I don't know. I thought it was something warm. My teeth were not ready for that. It was just a mouthful of ice cream. Those are babies? Those are celestial babies. Celestial children, I think they're popular. Oh, you know what? This place is called the Orphanage. The Upper Cathedral Ward is also called the Orphanage. And uh, now we know why. And now it's more important to know it's the what. Oh, there's chunks of... Yep. I, I didn't taste that last night. For me. What's back here? Is it worth it? Oh, Frenzy Cold Blood, yeah. So. Welcome to the Orphanage. Uh... This is probably one of the scariest areas, if not the scariest area in Bloodborne. Yeah. In my opinion. <laughs> Thank you for the commentary. They can hear you. I got my game though. No, don't! Hit me. Oh god! Oh my god. It was doing a freaking uh, grab attack. And we got the choir set. Uh, it's one of my other favorite sweats. Sweats. Sets. <laughs> sweats. Gray sweats. Let's see. Attire of the choir. High, high, oh my god. High ranking members of the healing church. Members of the choir are both the highest ranking clerics of the healing church and scholars who continue the work that began at Burdenworth. Together with the left, uh, left behind great one, they look to the skies in search of astral signs that may lead them to the rediscovery of true greatness. So a whole bunch of lore was just dropped. So we got everything except for the, uh, whatever the cap is for this. Um, so the choir is the, the highest ranking of the, uh, the healing church. And they had, um, like I said, they had, um, meeting the great one, the left behind great one. They actually, it was a docile great one. They didn't attack us just like uh, Rom did. Or Rom didn't attack us. Um, and so the choir was able to talk to it and communicate with it. Um, however they did. And uh, ask it questions about the cosmos and the, the, the choir learned a lot actually. Um, specifically the, the, the people of Mensis were uh, upset that the choir got to talk to the great ones and they didn't, which is how the whole cage thing began. Mm -hmm. You see, there's a there's a dude bro up there just trying to chill. In. Oh god, there's two of them up there. The see the other one right there? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, and then there's three. But wait, right. there's more. Oh god, oh god. I think there's four total. You're gonna funnel them in. I'm trying to back them. 
Oh. oh my god. Yeah, so generally they can't get through the doorway unless they're pushed through like that. That's just collision being weird. But they're not supposed to be able to come through that doorway. I mean, they are. But they're beasts. They can't really turn back into humans, though. So. Like, you know, I mean, lichens are just. refer to wolves, so. And there's one more dude bro down here chilling in the street. Worms? Oh, worms. Oh, did you hear it? I made uh, the. Oh, uh, that's something else. Worms? Oh, no, these are. It's a chandelier that just broke. So over here is a big old door. I don't have a key for yet. Blood Ritual 5, so they can get further into the Chalice Dungeons. There are... Brain Suckers over here, gosh dang it. <laughs> there are, uh... Brain Suckers, what are they called? Mind Flayers. There are Mind Flayers here. Mind Flayers? Mm -hmm. Really? Is this Stranger Things? No, they're called Blood Suckers, but they're based off of Mind Flayers. And Demon Souls, there is an enemy called Mind Flayer, though. And it is based off of Mind Flayer. Oh. You could just ask me. I did, and you weren't listening. Oh, I was too busy eating. I asked you before you were eating. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear. I don't know, let's try it again with less dying this time. Yeah, I thought it was in front of me. The Cosmic Eye Watcher badge. Um, badge member of the choir, elites of the Healing Church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumble upon an epiphany, very suddenly and quite by accident. Here we stand, feet planted in the earth, but might the cosmos be very near us, or just above our heads? It's all around us. We're in, we're in with the shit. It's just above our heads, actually. Um, so, what that was saying is uh, a part of the theory that all the nightmares are stacked on top of each other. Um, which there's more proof in the DLC. There's another brain sucker. There's a, there's a, there's a few in here. There's one specifically you have to kill to get a certain key. Um, but I, I just I hate brain suckers. Yeah, there's. You can tell this is a trap. Where are you? Are you in here? There you are. I'm trying to shoot me with a thingy, but. What? I don't understand. <laughs> I should have. Did I? Did I hit it or no? I thought I hit it. I guess I didn't. I want to get more cheesecake. More cheesecake. Mhm. There we go. Once again, these guys are horrible, horrible, horrible to fight if they get a suck off on you. So, whatever you do, whatever you need to do, make sure they do not get that get that mean suck. Gosh dang it. Their moves are so annoying too. Didn't dodge. Mm. 
Oh my god. I can get that. I'm probably gonna get some cinnamon buns. Yeah, so I just love the, the, the atmosphere of the choir. Or not the choir, the, the cathedral, the orphanage. It's just so creepy. It's just seeped in the mood that Bloodborne is. I love it. Alright, let's see if we can tiptoe up on this bitch. There we go. Ooh, Pearl Slug. I think I already read that, actually. I like, I like slugs. They're cool. Where is this? Where am I? Oh, this is back where the wolves were. The chandelier. This is the other way, so it's a little shortcut. Nizzity, nice. But we don't need that right now. We'll need that in a bit. The red light? It's a trap. That one tried to get to. Why you, uh, you go after that one? This one tries to get you. Oh, come on, 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 I'm pressing every single button on my controller. Is there any way you can get out of there sooner? Um, if you spam, I don't know. I don't know what games it works though. If you spam uh, the left and right buttons, you can move, get out of a grab quicker. Yeah. But I know it only works with some games, not all of them. I wasn't done with it yet. Anyway, all that damage I was giving him is gone. So I'm gonna go over and... You know what? I'll just, I'll just let it happen. How about that? I'm tired of... Reloading. No, it's just that they keep spamming that move over and over again. And they keep taking two insight every time they do. Which is really annoying because you need that insight for things. Actually, I probably have enough insight to just buy another blood rock. But then the blood rock I find the DLC is going to be useless. By the time you get it, it's too late anyway. One of them's dead. That's another one I have to kill. There's this one over here specifically you have to kill. So look, like how it just spams it over and over again. Gosh, just like make a lot and call from beyond. Come over here, buddy. There we go. He drops the orphanage key. Key to the orphanage, birthplace of the choir. The orphanage shadowed by the great the Grand Cathedral was a place of scholarship and ex experimentation, where the young orphans became potent unseen thinkers for the healing church. The choir that would later split the healing church was a creation of the orphanage. And this is back to the beginning of it all. You can see the blood splatter everywhere. Anyway, we come over here. That's not what the key is used for. And we see this dude. Make contact. How do I... Not you. This? There we go. Uh, switch. There you go. The make contact gesture. Um, it's actually really interesting what that is. Um, I'll head back to the bottom floor, I'll, I'll explain a bit. So, uh, I don't know what custom it was, but basically, uh, 
to make contact, you put your hands like that to uh, signify a right angle, and so it's kind of to let otherworldly beings um, know that uh, your, well, human life, I suppose, is intelligent enough to understand the Pythagorean theorem by showing that you can do a right angle with your arms. And so that's kind of the whole basis for it. Now that's the gesture that we needed, so we can go back to the, uh, what's her face now? The mother brain. Now we can go do something with that. If I open that, it opens a shortcut. Let's see. There's a boss coming up ahead. One of the easier bosses. Um... And look, our friends are back. The ones that we saw in Forbidden Woods and in Yosefka's uh, clinic. She was turning people into these things. Alright, and so we have the boss fight, the Celestial Emissary. Um, only one of these is the real boss. You can tell which one because they won't attack you, they'll actually run away from you instead. Guess that wasn't it. Are you it? There you are. Yeah, they'll run away from you instead. I'll try to get as far away from you as possible. And that's how you know it's the real one. Once again, the boss is not hard. But... Once again... <sighs> you can't... A weapon at risk? Oh, yikes. You should probably go, uh... Charge this. I think that's probably the, the strongest form of community you just got. There is nothing else in here. Uh, I believe they're weak to bolt if you want to use some bolt paper against them. However, that's not all that there is here. There is one more thing. Once you jump down there, there's a point of no return, so make sure you, uh, either went back to drop off your echoes or whatnot before you go and do this. If you look down there, this is the, the Grand Cathedral. This is where you fought, uh, Vicar Amelia. Um, because you remember, if you come in here, she is hunched over and she's praying to something. Something beyond this wall. And so you don't really think much of it. Bless you. Bless you. You might not think much of it at first, but there is a reason why she's praying in that direction. As you remember, the, uh... The choir had a medium with the Great Ones. They had... They spoke directly to the Great Ones. Or, uh, the Left Behind Great One, as this, uh, the garb says. They spoke directly to the Left Behind Great One to learn the... The truths of the universe. And only goes to assume that that great one, since it was left behind, is still here. And there she is. Uh, when you walk up to her, she is docile, just like uh, Rom, until you attack her. And then Jamie of says, I'm gonna go ahead and not fight her, because uh, she is difficult. We're gonna fight her later on. Probably after the DLC. Um, she's supposed to be like another... It's a side optional kind of like... Hard, harder boss? Because like this boss is supposed to be a joke boss. You come here, you fight them, and you're like, Oh my god, after the entire area, that's all you get. It's a super simple boss. And then you break the thing, you, you look through the, the window, and you look through, and you see everything that's behind it, and you wonder, can I go through there? So you break the window and you keep going through and you find the truth.